All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, me and my wife are going on a little date, but as you guys see, by boat. If you guys check the background, that's Brickle. We're here in Miami. Every month, we want to try to go to do one restaurant a month. We don't know what we're going to call it yet. Maybe Bite by the Sea, Bite by the Bay. That's to be decided. We don't call it anything. Oh, we don't call it anything. We don't know. But we actually got the kids uh, to be taken care of by my mother-in-law, by her mom, my grandma. Thank so, you, Mommy. Yes, shout out to Mommy. <laughs> so, what you call it. Today, we're going to go out and eat. And we're going to show you basically what it is. The restaurants that you can go accessible by boat. Um, there's restaurants that you can go by anywhere. But it's just a little bit of something about it when you go through a boat you know when you go to a restaurant yeah, by it's, boat, it's, it's a just, different experience it's the vibes you know yeah. and especially if you can eat and see the boat but yeah so basically every every month we're gonna do one um restaurant a month that's by boat uh basically it could be anywhere from the keys to miami doesn't really matter where but we're gonna try to give you a review of one restaurant a month guys and yeah if you guys know any restaurants that you guys like that are your favorite restaurants to go Put it in the comments. Let, Let me us know. know. We're gonna um, basically just get the most expensive thing on the menu, the cheapest thing on the menu. <laughs> you got it. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The cheapest thing on the menu, you know, yeah. stuff like that that we could say, wow, it, this was exactly, good. Exactly. So, yeah, this so basically, um, the only rule to make it on our list every month is that you have to be accessible by boat. You know, not that you can park by the boat and walk three blocks and then go. No, it has to be at least. You know, in the 100 yards, 200 yards range to make it, you know, into the thing. If not, it's not boat by the water. Because I can pull up right now to Brickle, get an Uber, and go to any restaurant in all of Brickle. You know, if I don't want to walk. So that doesn't count. It has to be, they have to have their little dock. Whether it's in the Keys in Miami, that's kind of like the, the requisite to be able to be on our bike by the water, yes, bike by the sea, whatever we're going to call it. Um, is it going to be like a just me and you thing all the time? Yes, or no, we can no, bring the kids? I don't know about bringing the kids. If we bring the kids, then we can't film. Like right now, imagine if the little kid was running around here, we wouldn't be able to film. We have to do more takes. So I think, and plus, we have two kids. It's been three years. We need to do stuff just you and me again. You know how it used to be. You know, in the beginning, me and her would go out on vacations, on trips. We will plan and be like, hey, next weekend we're gonna fly out here. When you have no kids, you can just do that. But now with you know kids and stuff, yeah, it's have a little two kids hard. back to back. They said. Yeah. But at least when we're But I done, love my kids. Yes, so I wouldn't change they're, it for the world. Blessing, my blessing. babies. Yeah. But yeah, so basically we're going to start heading that way and we're going to bring you guys along the ride. restaurant that we've gone to a couple times I actually went there on on uh, Father's Day last year I did a video on that if you guys check my Father's Day 2020 video I'll post it in the link um, yeah so this restaurant we've been to it a couple times it's called Casa Blanca it's one of the most famous uh, restaurants on the Miami River it's a seafood restaurant of course it used to be my favorite restaurant when I was younger when she was young. um, my stepdad had a place in the, in the river and we would go there for lunch all the time so, so yeah, everybody that, that that knows Miami or has gone to any restaurant in Miami, it's not even known for going by boat. It's just it has access by boat, but it's really a, a, a restaurant that is widely known. And I checked the reviews on it yesterday. It has a 4.4 rating, which we're about to find out today. We're going to tell you guys honest. We're not getting paid to do this. If it sucks, it sucks. And if it's great, it's great. We're going to let you guys know. So, all righty. All righty. Here we go. Entering right now the Miami River.
This is officially leaving the city and entering the real man river. That back there, that's Brickle. As soon as you cross this bridge, which is I-95, the end of I-95, then you get to the real Miami. The real Miami boys right there. We made it, guys. The famous Casa Blanca. Right there's Sea Spice. We've been there. It's amazing. Here we are. Now the captain is gonna dock. Using the joystick. <laughs> seeing the boats pass by too. I love eating. <laughs> I just hate it when they don't go in no wake zone. They those big waves. Now to put a bumper on. Should have left the sea keeper on. De esto ya podemos dejar ya, toda la persona. Ok. Ella va a coger eh, el maje maje. A ver, ¿cómo quiere que se lo prepare? Frito, red, black, o usted quiere más el cabello. Este, este. Sí. Dale el cabello. Esto viene con paquitas asadas abajo. Ok. Dale. Y, y, pero se puede pedir un otro side. No, no, no. Ah, me das con unos tostones. Okay, a snapper, a snapper is a filet or a This is a filet and on the side of the pimiento amarillo with pescado entero. This is the line that is here that I have three tipos of pescado. But it comes with the spinach and with all. The pescado entero? This one. Let's take the snapper and the pescado. And with a side of the arroz black and the frijol negro. And also with papita frita. Okay. Right. Yeah. Coconut shrimp yeah. Gracias. Gracias. The coconut shrimp. There's coconut shrimp. A bit of the sauce. It's like a mango sauce. Oh, 
Dip it in the sauce. No, I don't like sauces. Right, I'll dip mine. I'm not a sauce girl. You like my sauce? Fish under all that. Yeah. <laughs> brush it, brush it off. Let's see the fish. Oh, that's a big fat piece of fish. It's a mahi mahi. And some tostones on the side. So, let's try it. I'm also super picky. I don't eat any of this. Any of like the. How do you say that? The peppers or onions. I don't eat any of them. I just tried one of these shrimps and it was fine. Let's try now a piece of fish. Oh look, I found a piece of roasted potato. So for me, I would have liked the better, maybe if it didn't have all of this. Well, next time if you order, just say, hey, yeah. me, you know, I got to mix my rice and beans together. You can't have rice without the beans or beans without the rice. You have rice and beans every day. And I will have so rice and beans. Rice on here, I rice and beans. Well, I like it. There's a saying that I like. That goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I look good on camera, bro. <laughs> Babe, try one of these shrimps. Tell me they're not good. Tell me, tell me, tell me it doesn't, it's not like super soft. So yeah, I just took out all the little barbell. Too much condiments. I'm not a fan. But is the fish good? The fish is really good. Oh, look, I found the potatoes. Okay. It's just I feel like there's a this is mahi mahi. I'm gonna try it. Yours is softer. Mine's a bit harder. Yours has a more like steak feel because it's it's a, a mahi mahi is a stronger fish. You know, it's it's a really fast swimmer, so it's the muscles really strong. Or maybe they just this one is more tender because of the sauce that they cooked it. In. Very very hot today in Miami. I said I wasn't gonna get in the water, but I feel like yeah. I was about to ask I you. I like, used to jump in the water right now. You, you still not going into the water? I was gonna ask you right now. Yeah. Even though we didn't, even, we didn't even bring towels. But yeah, I didn't bring the towels. It's so hot that I'll dry myself. So nice to air dry. Yeah. Oh, 
because there's another boat coming because they're making some space. We tore it up. And now, let's see what the... So they got ice cream. Key lime pie, cuatro leche, cuatro leche, brownie, I know what you mean, bro. I know what you mean. Crema con dulce leche y una bola de lado. Coconut flan, caramel flan, and wild cheesecake. Okay, you have to get it. I'm gonna go with a flan. Es regular. Sí. So I got a little flan. Oh, it's got a crisp. I'm not a fan of dulce leche. Alright, that's dulce leche. It's not bad. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just I thought it was gonna be chocolate dulce leche. This is Miami. <laughs> what? Dulce leche or instead of was that ice cream? I didn't go too fancy, I just went with I'm gonna tell a fan. So yeah, the flan was good. I mean, it's not the best flan I've ever had. It's not the worst either. It's like a, a good Cuban flan. You wanna try it? That's good. All right guys, now it's time to see what the damage is and get the bill. This bathroom is awesome. Super clean. It's the bathroom. Very loud music. Oh, bajó bastante la marea. That's my dream boat right there, guys. HCB. the joysticks on too. I love how he put the wood on the on the yes on the motors right there. And if you guys look over here this is rush hour traffic now. Everybody trying to come eat. Look this is the boat that um that we want to get next. I don't know about you, but I want that HCB. Well, realistically. <laughs> Beautiful boat! 30, 36 and loose. All right, guys, this concludes today's video. If you guys have any recommended restaurants that you think we should visit and put on our list, please put it down in the comment section. We want to do a, a restaurant every month. So now for next month, I'm going to let you guys decide which restaurant I should go and review. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. Till next time, guys.